Hello all. Here we are going to solve one of the most important interview coding challenge in JavaScript. Okay. So I will explain the problem statement and then first please try yourself for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes still you are not able to find the solution. No problem just continue watching this video. So please try yourself. Then only we can improve our logical thinking. Okay, because we don't get same interview question in interviews, right? Maybe definitely they will change um, questions every day. So the question is, so we have an array. <laughs> we have an array of 11 items. So for easy understanding, I'm just taking it from 0, 10, 20, 30, so that you can easily match with the index number. So index number 6 means you can easily identify that is a 60. Index number 2 means it's easily you can understand that that's a 20. Okay, here two arrays. One is array of the values. Another one is I'm just giving the index numbers. So what is the question means? We should remove items based on these index numbers. Suppose this is a 6, right? So we should remove item at index number 6 on this array. So that will be a 60. And at the same time, we need to remove 20, uh, index 1 item at index number 2 in this array. That will be a 20. And the same way, index number 4, we have a 40. So that we need to remove that. That means we should remove 60. And we need, we need to remove 20. And then we need to remove 40. So looks like it's a simple question. But there is a twist. So just try yourself. And this is the expected output for this simple input and the like index numbers. So just try. If you are able to get the exact output, expected output, then the fantastic. Otherwise, just try to find proper solution. So here, even I just drawn thing in a paint so that you can see that clearly here. So we have 10 items. One minute. I let me open that in a paint so that it's easy to then wait. This is the so index number zero. We have a item value zero in the same sequence. You can understand easily what are the values and what are the index numbers for that value. So now our goal is to remove index number at index number uh, six, index number value at index number two, value at index number four. So let's start. Doing that and just pause this video and uh, try yourself if uh, after so some time if you feel you need some clues and you need a solution just watch this video again. Now I am going to uh, explain how to solve this thing. So to solve this one we need to understand the three important things. The okay, first one is a for loop. The okay, first one is a for loop. Let's see first we can write for loop and uh, we can remove item based on the index number. Okay, can anyone tell me like in the just in the maybe you can note down on a paper that with uh, which with the help of which array method you can delete an item from array based on index number. So if you want if I give an index number if you want to remove an array value based on that index number which array method you are going to use. Okay, no doubt. Okay, now I will tell you which one. This is a splice, S P L I C. So we, with the help of splice, we can remove an a uh, value in an array based on index number. So let's see. So here I'm I'm just I'm doing console dot log. So the original array here. Original. Now I'm just writing logic array dot Splice. So with the help of splice, we can remove. We can remove. So, but just for first, first we can test it whether it's working properly or not. Later we can write a for loop and we can optimize the code. So splice will help us to remove an item at given index number. So we have given index number six and how many items you want to delete. Suppose if you give one, it will delete one item at index number six. And if you give two, it will delete two items from that index number. So if it is six comma two, it will remove 60 and 70. If you give six comma three, it will remove 60, 70, 80. So for, for us, we need to delete only one item. So that's why we can give six comma one. I hope you know, if you already 
know all these concepts. So console.log, let's see whether it is removing an item properly or not. So after removing, again, I'm just logging the details. So now I'm going to do console.log. So let's see, that's node. And uh, the file name is cc1.js, so we can give cc1. So if you see, uh, observe carefully, uh, here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and after splice with 6, 1, at index number 6. Now if you see, we lost this value, 60. So here we need to observe one important thing. We need to observe one thing. So before that, before understanding the twist in the question and what's happening uh, in this process, uh, let's let's remove other two items also with the help of this splice method. Yes, without uh, without for loop I'm writing. Once we understand uh, the logic, we can write a for loop and we can optimize. So our goal is to, re to remove one item at index number six and one item at index number two and another item at index number four. So observe carefully. I'm removing uh, in I value at index number six and two. Now observe carefully what will be the, the results so observe carefully so this is the original array and according to our expectation we should remove 60 so 60 has removed successfully we are happy and in the next line we should remove uh, value at index number two so what is the value of value at index number two that is 20 so it has removed oh now what is the complexity in this question right so now let's see now go on remove the third one now you will realize some twist in this just remove extra thought. so now i'm trying to delete value at index number four value at index number four okay our our goal is to remove the 40 the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the original array. Okay. We are taking the reference of original array. So we need to remove this value so that we should remove 20 and 40 and 60. So let's see now what will be the output. Whether it is going to whether it will give the output exactly like this or not. So just guess, note down on a paper whether we are getting a correct results or not. So if it, it gives it whether if it is giving a right answer and what is the complexity in this question. <laughs> okay. So let's see the twist in the result. Okay. So clear now. So once you remove three things and now observe observe carefully, our expected result is 0, 10, 30, and we should not have a 40, right? But if you see here. It is displaying 40 and we should have a 50 but 50 is not there in our output 70 is there 80 is there 90 is there 100 is there okay whenever we have removed 6 comma 1 and 2 comma 1 the help of splice we are getting the proper results only but whenever we did this array at splice of 4 comma 1 okay we are getting the wrong results like Based on our expectation. So if you see, this is the end result, what we are expecting. We should have a 6, 20, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, because we are removing value at index number 6, that will be a 60 is should gone, and 20 should gone, and 40 should gone. But unfortunately, here it is showing 40 and it has removed 50. Because if you see the what is the index number for 50 here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The index number for 50 is Five, but why it is removing 50 and why it is not removing the value 40 that is the really interesting thing so again pause the video and try to find out the reason okay if you are able to find out the reason that means you you won <laughs> you won the you, you that means definitely you have a good logical thinking okay you can give five stars to yourself so I hope you back after doing some analysis. I hope if you know the answer, fantastic. Suppose if you didn't find the reason why it is removing 50 instead of 40. Okay, let's see 
we can do the same thing with the help of paint so that you can understand okay now the what what we are doing in the first step we are removing one item at index number 6 right with the help of splice okay now what will happen so it is going to what splice will do not it will remove splice is not going to remove just value 60 it's not going to remove just value 60 what it will do it will remove this one from the memory it will remove this one it will remove this one and again once we have removed automatically automatically it will come like this so now if you see observe carefully the index number will change index numbers are going to change so what is the index number at 6 so previously at index number we have a 60 once we removed an item at index number 6 it is removed from memory itself completely and the it has shuffled right? that means 70 80 and 90 and 100 came forward and the index number has changed already so if you want if you need a proof i will show you so you see after doing 6 comma 1 after doing 6 comma 1 Okay, before that, I will log console.log array of 6. Okay, array of 6. That means that is index number 6, right? And after deleting, after deleting, after doing the splice, what is happening? So normally, if you remove some value, maybe you will get undefined or uh, something else, right? But here, here, we will get some result so that is a proof that will be the proof here mode zero if you see before removing the value at index number is six is 60 and after removing we are getting another value at index number six because it is happening this is happening in the memory so if you see index number six got 70 just few seconds few minutes back without before removing an item uh, at the time the value at index number six is it was 60 right it is interesting right it is interesting so now observe carefully again what we are doing what we are doing we are doing we are removing one item at index number two so then it is going to it is going to delete this from memory Then what will happen? The whole this train, okay, train will move forward. Like Q will move, right? Like that. So now if you see, what is the value at index number two? Thirty. What is the value at index number three? Forty. What is the value at index number four? It is fifty. Means this fifty is coming the wrong position, right? It is going to delete. It is going to die. Okay, but fifty don't know, right? So now if you see the value at position 4 is 50. So whenever you do, whenever you do 4 comma 1, but our expectation was the original array, origin, original array, it was 40. But after doing like six, splice two times, array dot splice, okay, array dot splice, 2 comma 1. So now what is the value at index number 4? Observe carefully, index number 4. Previously, it was initially it was 40, but after doing these changes, it is 50. Okay, 50 is just sitting on the target area. So now, if you do, if you do, if you do array dot splice, array dot splice, 4 comma 1. So now, normally we thought that it is going to delete 40, but you have done these two things before doing the splice 4 comma 1 so now which value is going to delete it is going to delete 50 so now if you see what is happening it is going to delete 50 from the memory and now again this remaining chain train okay or whatever you can feel okay, it is coming it is changing the positions now observe carefully what is the value at index number 4 
after doing all these three operations, it well the value is 70. So that's why you are getting the result like 0, 10, 30, 40, 70, 80, 90, 100. So let me log one more time. So I'm just removing this one, removing this one. So please do practice. If you do practice along with me so that you will understand clearly. Otherwise, maybe you will get some confusion. Okay. So no sense. So if you see, we are getting the wrong results. 0, 10, 30, 40, 70, 80, 90, 100. Because this is happening, this is happening. Once you remove an item from array and it is going to change the positions of the remaining values. Now, how to solve? But we should, though our requirement is, we should remove only 60 and 20 and 40. So, how to solve this? So, here, meanwhile, just please try. Please try to find out the solution for that. Meanwhile, I will write a for loop. Because here we are doing some logic, right? What we are doing? Splice, same array dot splice 6 comma 1, array dot splice 2 comma 1, array dot splice 4 comma 1. So that we can write a simple for loop for this, right? Hopefully. Yes. I hope everyone will agree with me. So just I'm writing for loop. Meanwhile, just focus on the solution how to solve that one if you know how to write a for loop suppose if you have a confusion on how to write a for loop don't worry just follow me so then because i'm just looping based on the index number so here because we are doing three times so here we should not take array dot length so we are we should take indexes because we need to loop on this array and we need to read this value and we should apply splice on the original array. So what we can do is so now tell me tell me so which value is changing this value is changing from 6 to 4 okay from where you will get 6 to 4 okay some sometimes people will do mistake like they will simply add i comma 1 so if you do i comma 1 it will be like it will be what is the index value it will be 0 comma 1 comma 2 that is a mistake what we need to pass here we need to pass 6 comma 2 comma 4 if you want to pass a 6 comma 2 comma 4 that means you should read the value at index number 0 at index number 1 index number 2 so that how we should write the logic we should write the logic like index of past index number for this array so that index of 0 what is the value of index or index of 0 it will be 6 index of 1 will be 2 index of 2 that will be 4 so that we can minimize this code up to this extent so now it will give so let's see same thing i am going to execute again so we are getting the same results because I just optimize the code. That is also very important. You should optimize the code once you write the logic. Second thing, you should optimize. Now, still we have a problem. What to do? Okay, how to solve this problem? Okay, if you don't know the solution, don't worry. We are, everyone is in a learning phase. And uh, don't think that if you are not able to solve this question, and don't think that uh, you don't know programming. No, not at all. So. We are learning we are in the learning process we can learn in the right direction okay fine so now i will tell you the one clue okay suppose if you see if you see if you delete like randomly like six comma two comma four that is a problem that is a problem okay but if you delete item first if you delete item six and then if you delete item four and later if you delete item two you don't get any problem so because Whenever you are deleting item at maximum index, okay, these values are going to be shuffled, right? These values are going to be move forward, okay? But whenever you delete, first suppose if you delete item at 2 first, automatically the position of this value will change. Position of this value will automatically change. So I hope you guys understood what I am talking. So otherwise, just try on yourself. 
Suppose just there are two options. Maybe you can delete items in an ascending order, okay, or descending order. Suppose ascending order means you can sort these indexes. You can sort these indexes in ascending order like two comma four comma six. Other option is we can do six comma four comma descending order. So which one is perfect? Which one is perfect? So maybe you will think that the ascending order is good, but that is a problem because whenever you do delete an item in ascending order, suppose if you see, once you remove this item, automatically the position of this, the index number for this is going to change. So at the time, whenever you, you are going to delete 4, at the time, what will be the value at index number 4? That will be 50. So it will delete the wrong number. And once you delete this one, okay, and the position of the remaining values will change. And at the time, if you delete index num value at index number 6 means at the time it is going to delete 80. Okay, I hope you guys understood. Otherwise, just execute in a sequence and test properly or even you can uh, delete item and uh, shuffle and move forward the remaining item so that you can understand clearly. So here the solution is not ascending order. This is wrong. If you go with ascending order, again it will be a, again it will be a big problem. So the solution is we should sort these values in a descending order. That means whatever the array, whatever the values they have given, first what we need to do, we should go with a descending order like 6, 4, 2. So if you see, if you have a Suppose values 6, 4, 2, definitely you don't get any problem. So if you see, first if you remove the index number at value at index number 6, 6, so that this will remove, this will remove. And the position of 70, 80, 90, 100 has changed. But position of 6, 0, 10, 20, and 30, 40, and 50 remain same, right? We don't have any problem. They are in the same position. So now, if you delete a value at index number 4, again, this value is there. Okay. And once you remove, the positions of 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 has changed. But the, re the position of 0, 10, and 20, and 30 remain same. So they are at same index number. We don't have any problem. So if you de delete an item at 2, so it is going to delete this value. And you will get the expected results. So if you see 0, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, and 90. So I hope you guys understood. Please draw it on a pencil and paper or whatever it is. If you already understood, that's fantastic. So if you have a confusion, confusion, please delete items based on the ascending order and descending order, and you can get the conclusion whether ascending order is good or descending order is good. Okay. This is wrong and this is the perfect. Now the question is, now the question is, how to sort the values? So if you see, maybe you can say that Raghu just to do sort, automatically it will sort in the right direction. So, but there is another twist in JavaScript. So in JavaScript, in JavaScript, whenever you use sort on strings, it will work perfectly. But in JavaScript, whenever you are going to apply sort operation, so on numbers, numbers, sometimes it will give some wrong results. So that the solution will be something different. So for that, so just go to the W3 schools. I just open W3 schools. If you, if you don't know already, so that you will understand clearly. W3 schools or any 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 other platform. W3 schools. What I'm saying? Sort numbers. So definitely. So if you see here, the he has explained. So if you apply sort on strings, it will work properly. Work properly. But whenever you do sorting on numbers, if you see, if you see numbers directly if you use just a sort and if you don't pass any thing as an argument it will give a wrong result suppose if you want to get 
array items which are numbers into ascending order this is the syntax okay array dot sort and you should pass this callback function so function a comma b and return a minus b okay and if you want to do things in a descending order you should use this one b minus a if you use b minus a it will be a descending order a minus b it will come in ascending order so for now for for us we should we should have the details in the descending order so please sort these things with the descending order okay so no problem this is the array for us dot sort okay and now it will be descending order so if you want just do console.log of the original that updated indexes value endx so hopefully you will see the order so see yes so if you see descending order 642 642 and we have removed the items and 10 50 80 100 okay i think it is what we are getting some wrong results if you get the results like uh, 0 10 okay 0 10 30 50 70 80 90 100 right that was a mistake wait let me cross check again I'm just deleting all the unnecessary things and then indexes arrays see the result one more time 0 10 where is removing 30 uh, did we what we did any mistake so if you know a this is array this is a value for loop let's see how many times it is looping 0 it's loop length yeah, three times from here. What's happening? What is happening? What's happening? What's happening? Okay, that's fantastic. Suppose if you get some twist and turns, definitely you can learn a lot. So I thought it is a perfect solution, but 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> we have changed the original array, right? 0 10 20 30 okay 40 50 and uh, 60 70 80 90 100 okay it's my bad sorry sorry so this is the original array right this is the original array and we are going to remove at 6 to 4 but we are sorting in a descending order and uh, hopefully this time we will get the correct result so what will be the expected output so that will be 0 comma 10 we are removing 20 so that we will get 30 we are removing 40 so that it should give us 50 and we are removing 60 so that we should get 70 80 90 and 100 that's fantastic so let's see the result fantastic we got the output 0 10 30 50 70 80 90 100 okay i hope you enjoy right i hope you enjoy i hope you have learned some important things so here in this coding challenge okay what are the three important things we understand how to write for loop if anyone knows so and we have done a practice exactly like splice use case another one is we should understand sorting of array of values with numbers okay that is definitely syntax is different so if you are not aware of this please please go on practice it okay and uh, learn properly okay so now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we are coming with many coding challenges like this i'm going to um, upload in this playlist in a sequence but please please what you need to do so just understand the problem statement first 30 minutes please try yourself after that come watch this complete video so that you will learn a lot and even if you know any other coding challenges if you face any coding challenges while you are attending interviews interesting coding challenges please please forward those coding challenges to me so that we can solve 
because if I'm not able to solve that one, definitely I will take help from you. We can solve together. So svj.narin.gmail.com, please forward those coding challenges so that we can learn together and we can grow together. Okay. And I hope if you are enjoyed this one, okay, please share with your friends. And if you are interested, just click on like button so that automatically this Google will, YouTube will send forward to many people. Okay. That's all for this first coding challenge and get ready for second coding challenge very soon. Bye-bye.